Our other top story tonight, the attorney for the man accused of killing Jewish community leader Samantha Wohl wants the case dismissed. Yeah, that move came at a hearing today that was quickly postponed and rescheduled for two weeks from now. So let's get out to Sean Lay right now. Sean, there are a lot of moving parts to go through right now. And one of the most moving parts I'm going to show to you right now happened outside of court where I'm hearing from Samantha Wall's family for the very first time. Take a look. What I've seen in the media this week has infuriated me. The defense has been working hard to make this case about race when it should be about evidence. And in this case, the evidence points very clearly to one man, and that man is Michael Jackson Bolanos. This is the first time we are hearing from the family of Samantha Wool. Wool's sister, Dr. Monica Wool Rosen, reading from her statement that is much more than a statement. Her words are packed with emotion as there is no justice for her sister after Michael Jackson Bolanos was found not guilty on first degree murder charges. His attorneys launching a petition for Jackson Bolanos to be released from jail, saying race was a factor and why he was put on trial for Wool's murder. But what links Michael Jackson Bolanos to this crime is not race, but evidence. In fact, in my exclusive interview with the jury foreman, he told me that the evidence that Jackson Bolanos was near Wool's townhome the morning she was murdered, that Bolanos touched Wool's body, was enough for most, but not all jurors, to believe that prosecutors put the right person on trial. Wool's blood was also found on Bolanos' jacket. Because of these key pieces of evidence, and not at all because of the color of his skin, there is absolutely zero doubt in my family's mind that Michael Jackson Bolanos did this to my sister, and all we ask is that justice is served. All right, back here live. Let's talk about what happened in court. Yes, this is supposed to be decision day for Wayne County prosecutors. If they were going to try Jackson Bolanos on the remaining charges that were deadlocked or uh, going forward here, one of those charges is home invasion. That is one of the charges that he could be retried on. The expectation is felony murder charges would be dropped by the prosecutor. All that has not happened yet. In two weeks, we will know that answer. We're live tonight. Sean Light, Local 4, back to you. A lot to unpack there, Sean. Thank you.